Santos with Jay Alto. Coming to you from Beach Garden Lab. I'm currently in my small, cramped, disorganized shop, my little workshop, where I do my woodworking at. The tribe is inside, sound asleep. At least I hope they are. And uh, I'm ready to do the follow-up on the Ulta haul. Now this is my second video attempt. The first one, as you heard me complain before, uh, was the original, where I took everything out of the bags and saw them as you see them. And it was a lot messier and took a lot more time. So the good news is, if you don't like follow-up videos, this won't take a lot of time because I've already gone through a lot of it. I threw away a lot of it, a lot of the empties and a lot of the, the just overly souped items and pared it down to just a few of the items that are still left. My friend has told me if it has at least half a bottle or a tube in it, she'll take it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm keeping them. I haven't given them to her yet because I haven't made this video. Once this video is made, they're all hers. Along with some other electronic items that will first go to her husband for repair and then to her. He's pretty much a whiz with these gadgets that have been uh, damaged and with the cords cut and whatnot. So uh, he's already received one or two, I believe, and repaired them and she uses them. So no more talking, let's get to it. We'll start, speaking of the electronic items, we'll start, excuse me, while well, I already bumped the camera and I sure hope I'm not out of frame. We'll start with uh, what I believe is a curling iron. I don't know if it's missing pieces or parts, but uh, yeah, there's a cord, they cut it. Just like the last one I showed in the last uh, alt uh, show and tell. I prefer to call these follow up now, so follow ups. So these will be, this is, this will be a considered a follow up video to the dumpster, to two dumpster dives at Alta. And you'll see how little I got out of it. Here's, uh, I'm assuming curling iron with the cut cord. This is the cord to it. That will go to our friend's husband. The next item, and I haven't looked these items up to see how much they're worth, but they look pretty fancy. They look pretty expensive. This is a Hot Tools Professional, and I failed to mention this one. I did show it. A bed head. A wave we go. TG. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Um, again, cut cord, and I have it over here, right there. Again, her husband claims he can fix them. Well, I know he does, because I've seen them. Okay, on to the main event. These, I have, uh, I have not cleaned these up. Um, some of them have dried off a little bit, but for the most part, they have not, they have not been cleaned up. This is a Lancome a Lift Makeup, no lid, about half full maybe half full. Couldn't find the lids in the bags and there was tons of lids, but uh, they must have separated those when they uh, souped the bags because it was nowhere to be seen. You're gonna see a lot of repeats such as that. Might as well try to find the other one. There's one similar. You know, it's not a main comb. This is a do you, D-E-W-U. And it is also about half full. Again, no lid. Again, this doesn't bother my friend. I think she takes some out of original bottles, puts them in her own containers with the lids and labels them. And this is how she's able to use them. So there's yeah, that one. We're moving on to some others. Now, again, you may see some repeats here, so I'll apologize. This is a cover girl matte foundation 
comfort mat. You can read it, you can see it. Again, no lid, but this one is almost three quarters full. Moving on. Another one, I believe this exact same thing. Let's get the other ones and compare and see. And I believe the colors are a little different. I'm not certain. But either way, it doesn't have the lid on this one. But again, about three quarters full. That will go to her as well. And another one here, same thing. So that's three with no lids. Moving on to the tubes. This one here, Laura Mercier. I believe it has some type of moisturizer, natural skin protector, or perfector, excuse me. Also has a SFP30 sunscreen, broad spectrum. Interesting. It's about half full. Again, no lid. They're really good at also about losing the lids. Another tube here, this feels completely full. And I did find the lid, if I remember correctly, I did find the lid with this one. This is uh, It by It. CC Plus Color Connecting Full Color Cream Anti-Aging Hydrating Serum. Also with an FF, SFP 50 Plus. Not sure if that's a, a thing in makeup, the SFP, but interesting nonetheless. So there you go. That goes in the save box. This one has a little pump on it. And for whatever reason, there it is. I thought the uh, the name had rubbed off, but it's a Becca Ulta Ultimate Coverage 24-Hour Foundation. And this one is feels completely full. And I don't know how much these are. I haven't looked them up. My friend can tell you. She knows it all. She is all things Ulta. Moving on to another tube. Another CC, another something by IT. Again, this was the first one. This is the second one. A little different, different color bottle or tube. Same thing. Another FPF 50. And this one is about, I'd say, three quarters full. I have another one here. I think it's the same thing. It looks like it. It's about half full. Again, folks, I didn't clean these up after the first video, the first failed video, because I wanted to do it again and make it right. This one here is, am I going to pronounce it right, Milani? And it is a finish, make it last, charcoal setting spray. And it feels about three quarters full. Again, no cap, but it has a spray, so no worries there. And you'll see some of the goo still left. I've got plenty of napkins here. So as I go along, I believe this one was in pretty rough shape. I don't know if she'd want something like that, but I went ahead and kept it just to be on the safe side for her. And I can't see the name on it. Whoa, that's a lot of goo. And guys, this is nothing what the what was in the bags. This is nothing. Let's see if we can go a little farther here. Revolution. Rose Gold Chocolate. And can I get it open with these gloves? Yes, I can. There you go. I've already shown you. But this is the first compact. The second compact, I struggle with these compacts like you wouldn't believe. But I'm getting there. There's a little bit left. Not a whole lot. And this was Celebration Foundation. Also by IT. And this one here is a I believe it's a conditioner, daily cream conditioners, 
Diva Curls. 100% sulfate. I have no idea what that means. You see how dirty they are with other makeup on it, but that's how they come out of the bag. Also, at first, and I really don't know if it's related or not, but I got a discard. A, 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 no, that's Walmart. That was in the bag, ironically enough. Maybe they accept Walmart gift cards. I don't know, but I was gonna check it. Another tube over here, Diva. I think it's more conditioner, or this is the, I don't know. Yes, more condition. Conditioning cleanser. So, there you have it. This is about a quarter full. It's up to my friend if she can use them or not. The finds of the day, remember this was on two different occasions, two dives, but the big find, and probably the best find, if I can get it open, which, again, I always struggle. There you go. The Morph palette with only one damage, and I think I caused that damage when I got it out of the dumpster and was struggling to open it. It has this little plastic sheet here. You lay it over it and it tells you what kind, what color it is or what they call it. So uh, I believe, and I've been told through the comments that this is about a 25 to $49 palette. And we'll move on, I'll keep that one out of there. I don't want to get it more soup than there already is. The second one. About the same thing, different little colors though, or maybe the same. I think it's actually exactly the same. So uh, there you go, a little better shape. So um, I know she'll like those. I haven't told her about these. I want to surprise her and want her to know. Want her to know that I'm doing my best I can. The last thing. Man, I'll be the first to tell you, I don't know if this is appropriate for my channel or not. I'll let you be the, the, the judge of that. And I'll let you read it. Now, I thought there was all kinds of makeup and creams and lotions in here. But, upon further inspection, that's not the case. The only thing that's in here, and it looked like a great find at first, is this system it's a little dirty it's dirty because i made it dirty when i pulled it out and checked it out this is the wax this is a melting system and that's the little electronic heater to, to melt it but lo and behold looky here they cut the cord but they were nice enough to leave the cord in it in the box and this is by Gigi again I haven't looked up how much these would be worth with the cut cord you can imagine nothing but if you have the, the whiz of a husband that our friend does this might be worth something to her so that'll definitely go to her as well first to the husband well I told you it was going to be a quick one Oh, I found the receipt out of it. Looky here. And I believe this was for the... Make sure there's no name on this. Ah, the GG Waxing Starter Kit. $49.95. So, there you go. $50 waxing kit. Assuming he can get it working. Well, I wish there was more to it. Again... When I go through the bags, there's a whole lot to discard. It takes a whole lot more time. But this is about it. And this was the accumulation of two dumpster dives at Ulta. I had a vote. My subscribers and viewers voted. And they wanted to see this. I don't blame them. I never thought I'd be sitting in my shop, the floor of my shop, going through women's makeup. But here I am. That's the fun of dumpster diving life. So 
I hope you enjoy it. I hope you like it. I'll get this posted up as quick as I can and uh, get it to my, my friend as soon as I can. I'm sure she'll be excited. Let me know what you think of this, guys. You like it, don't like it. You think it was a good find? If you know some of the prices, let me know. I'm just curious. I'm sure my friend can tell me, but I know you guys can tell me too. So that's it. A real quickie. The culmination of two dumpster dives at an Ulta and that's it. Well, you know the routine with dumpster diving life. Always wear your gloves. <laughs> now you see why. Be safe. Keep what you need. Sell what you must. And give what you can. Keep on diving.